it's Jessie V. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about an app that you should never ever download on your phone. It's called Stranger Danger, and by the name alone, it should hint at you that you don't want it. By the way, can we just talk about the contrast of things that I'm wearing right now? So on my shirt, I have this really creepy tree, which I really love. But then I'm also wearing a mermaid necklace. I love this necklace. It's a silhouette of a mermaid sitting on a wave, and it's really good quality. It's made out of stainless steel, and these are available on our website right now in limited quantities. So if you would like one, I've linked it down below. But I love how my shirt is like scary and my necklace is just like fun and whimsical. And I mentioned this in the last video, but we also have new mermaid wallets, which I love. Silhouette of a mermaid as well. Love the color, nice and squishy, good quality. <laughs> so both of those things are linked down below. And don't forget guys, in only a few days, it's gonna be July. So if you would like to win this background behind me, you only have like three more days to enter. And all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and go and follow my Jessie B Instagram and DM me your favorite flower emoji. That's all you have to do. All right guys, so without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So there's an urban legend about an app that came out back in 2013 called Stranger Danger. It was said to have been first created in a small town called Lockwood Valley somewhere in the States because kids were constantly going missing there and none of the adults actually saw who these strangers were. They would just turn their backs for one moment and when they looked back around, their child would have vanished. Some people said there was a hooded man that would drive down the streets in a black car offering them candy. They said the kids would hear him whistling as they played in the fields or the playgrounds and they'd see him wave the bag of goodies out the window. He was called the candy man of Lockwood Valley, but there was no evidence of him actually existing. No one ever got photographs. It would really only be rumors from the kids. Now, unfortunately, while kids do go missing all around the world every single day, this specific town was said to be the absolute worst. Like tons of kids were vanishing on a daily basis just in this location and people said the land must have been cursed. So an unknown developer came up with this app called Stranger Danger, which was said to act as a radar scanning the area around you and showing you red dots when strangers were nearby. It kind of reminds me of those ghost detector apps if you guys have ever used something like that, except humans are almost scarier. And it was especially encouraged to use at night when you couldn't really see your surroundings. So it wasn't just for kids, it was for anyone, young and old, that feared for their safety. And almost immediately after it was released, hundreds of people in the town began downloading it. And at first, it seemed to really help. People were able to keep an eye out on who was nearby, and they could choose to hide, run, call for help. And for a while, there was absolutely no kidnappings. But there was still something pretty eerie about walking down a dark, foggy street at night and then suddenly seeing a red dot appear only 10 feet away from you on the radar. But I guess it was better than not knowing, right? Well, one day, only a couple weeks after this app was launched, something really strange started happening with it. You'd be walking home in the evening, looking at your radar, and suddenly five, six, seven, eight dots began appearing all around you. And as you looked around, you could see shadowed, hooded figures closing in on you. And usually the app would let you sound this emergency alert alarm, but it wasn't working. Now, people didn't know at the time, but the app actually got hacked by the same mysterious group that had been tormenting the town for years, the same people that were kidnapping. And because everyone had their location services turned on, they were able to see where everyone was all of the time, allowing them to easily target their victims. And then the disappearances got worse than they ever had been before. And as soon as this was found out, the app was taken down, pretty much everyone Everyone moved out of the town. It became this abandoned ghost town. But it is said that every few years, the app will suddenly pop up on your phone asking if you want to download it, and you should always, always decline. And that is the end of that creepy story about the app. Obviously, I'm sure it's some sort of creepypasta. At least, I hope so. But this one does seem like scarily realistic, right? And then I have one more creepy story to tell you. It's not about an app, but it is about a really creepy stranger interaction. This is a story story told by a woman named Lisa who said that when she was a child, she had this irrational fear that when she went out at night, she had to walk straight into the house without looking back because if she looked back, someone would be following her. I feel like we may have all had this same fear as a kid. Like if your parents drive you home somewhere at night and park in the driveway and it's pitch black, you just walk straight for the door 
or you don't look around to see what's there because there might be an animal, a creepy person, whatever. It's the same thing like if you go down into your basement and you're trying to run back up the steps, you don't want to look behind you. Well, one day after dinner, she went out to the car to get her book bag and she was continuing her ritual of walking straight inside without looking back. Her adrenaline was pumping, her anxiety was at full force and suddenly she just stopped and said to herself, this is so stupid, why am I doing this? And so she finally, for the first time ever, made herself look back at what was behind her. She was kind of trying to prove to herself that nothing was really there. Why was she so scared? But when she looked back, she saw what appeared to be someone crouched down behind her mom's car and they were just peeking their head around. They were just staring at her and smiling. It appeared to be a woman in her mid 30s, maybe 40s. She had this curly, short, blonde hair. They made eye contact with her for just a second and then she ducked back behind the car where Lisa couldn't see her. Lisa stood there frozen for a second then ran back inside the house. She told her mom, they went outside to check, no one was there of course. And her mom didn't exactly not believe her, but she didn't seem very concerned either, which was definitely frustrating for Lisa because she was so sure she saw someone crouched behind the car. And this just freaks me out so much because now when I'm out in the dark and it's like nighttime and I'm trying to get in the house, I'm not gonna look behind me. Oh, I actually have one more to tell you guys. You're very lucky today. This is about a stranger under the bed. This is a story about a girl who had to start taking sleeping pills because she had horrible debilitating insomnia. Sometimes she would go days without sleeping. So she tried these sleeping pills, but the problem problem is they gave her really bad dreams and one night she thought she heard breathing under her bed so she looked and saw a large bearded man in dirty clothes right under there. So she screamed and ran to her parents room but they just dismissed it as the pills making her have crazy nightmares. So she was semi convinced with what they were saying so she went back to bed and just forced herself not to check under the bed again. The next morning when her family woke up the entire bottom floor of the house was completely messed up. It was messy, things were thrown everywhere, stuff was stolen, their fridge was empty. So it just showed her that yes, there was someone under her bed, which is terrifying. I don't know why I do research for these videos because now I'm gonna be scared for the next two days. Anyway, so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want me to do more videos on creepy apps that you should never download, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget that if you'd like any of our new mermaid items, including this stainless steel necklace, I have linked it down below. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!